to, you know, give, give a pop, uh, a hand clap of praise, amen. Yes. I tell you, see, that word is supposed to move us, amen. That, yes. that word is supposed to do something for us, amen. Yes. Yes. And I tell you, you know, you know I, I, I see myself, you know, and some of those things that, you know, I just don't quite get it right, amen. Sometimes I don't have that true forgiving spirit, amen. amen. So I have to ask the sure, you know, to purge me, amen, to cleanse me. Because, yes, see, God. I don't care, you know, how uh, or what our position is with the Lord. We still got to do everything according to what he has stated in his word. We got to obey his commandments if we want to make him to the kingdom of God. There is no exception, amen. He's not going to say, well, no, I'm, you know, I'm going to let you get by with this, I'm going to let you get by with that because I made you an apostle, I made you chief apostle. No, he's going to say, no, I'm, uh, if I don't do what's right, he's going to say, depart from me, you work of iniquity. Yes. Amen. 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 Ain't no need me getting mad or upset. It's, hey, I need to pray, Lord, okay, I see myself in this mirror. Mm -hmm. I need to get it right. Amen. Repent and get it right. Yes, Lord. Amen. I got to repent and get it right. That's the only thing I can do. Amen. 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 Because the world comes to help us, not to destroy us. Amen. Come to clean us up. It comes to what? To purge us. Yes. To purify us. Yes. Amen. See, that's the fire that we must go through to be purged. Amen. So that we come out like gold. Amen. The fire is the gold. Yes, Lord. We got to let all that sludge and everything come to the top, amen, for we can be scooped on off so we can be yes. cleansed. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Amen. You know, like sometimes you'll boil some meat and all that scum will come up there. You, so you pre-boil your food, amen, your meats and stuff, and get all that scum off, rinse it off, wash it off, and then you boil it. That's right. Amen. amen. Yes, Lord. Amen. Ooh. You don't boil it for all that filth in there. Ooh, and you no, shouldn't. No. Mm -mm. Amen. Can't eat it. Because it come, 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 this comb is not good for it. No, so it's nasty. Amen. So, you know, this is what God is doing for his people, what he wants to do for his people. Is what mm -hmm. is to cleanse us and to purge us. Amen. Yes, Lord. So, I don't care, you know, yeah, I, I'm cheap as possible. When I see myself, amen, I, not every time the word comes forward, I see myself. Amen. Right. I'm looking for Norman. I call the word is coming with to Norman. Coming I'm not I'm not gonna be sitting there patting my, my myself on the back and talking about hey I'm all of this and I'm all of that. You that. can't tell me nothing, amen. Yes. No, I'm gonna listen, I'm gonna pray, and I'm gonna ask God what to purge me and cleanse me. Amen. But I hey I got a goal. My goal is to make it into the kingdom of God. Yes. Lord. In other words we, we call heaven that's why that's my goal. To spend eternity with our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Sure, I'm gonna say it. That's what I want to do. Yes, that's sir. my goal. Hallelujah. And I know in order to make it into the kingdom of God, I got to obey all this word. He didn't say some of it. He oh. said all of it. Amen. Yeah, of it. So I thank I thank the Lord again. Amen. For that wonderful word. I thank the apostle for that wonderful word. Amen. I just give God the thank. And I give God the glory. Amen. 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 I thank God for that wonderful word. Amen. I'll be Yahweh. We come before you, most holy Father, to say thank you. Thank you for the word that comes thus far. I'll be Yahweh. And I'll be Yahweh, we ask you to continue with us. I'll be Yahweh. Uh, that you will show us the way that you will speak, that you will use me to speak the words that you want us to hear and have. I'll be Yahweh. And we'll be all your commandments and all your statutes and all your laws, I'll be our way. Because nobody but you, I'll be our way. Nobody but you, I'll be our way. But we want to make it into your kingdom. Those of us are saying and professing that we're saved, sanctified, and filled with your precious we are, with the Holy Ghost, I'll be our way. Help us to be obedient to all that you convey, all that you say. In the holy name of Yeshua HaMessiah, we do say amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen again for the word. I want us to, uh, I want to say a few things first. Amen. Before we go into the word, I believe we're going to start off in uh, Exodus uh, 20. Amen. And I believe it's uh, 8. Okay, 20 and 8. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, I want, I want people to understand things. Amen. About the Shabbat. Amen. 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 We, we, we must keep it. 
It's a perpetual commandment. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a commandment that was get, written by the hands of God. Amen. It was written by, uh, by God. He spoke it into Moshe. He said we all have to keep it. Amen. Amen. They, they kill. God said to kill a person just for picking up sticks on the Shabbat, on the mm -hmm. seventh-day Sabbath. Amen. And we got to understand, you know, see a lot of people see, get confused about the Word of God is that they want to divide the Bible in half. They want to say, well, that's old Testament. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. See, that's nothing but the double splitting the Word of God up. Uh -huh. See, the Bible is one book. Mm -hmm. The Torah is just one book. Amen. 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 And so we got to understand it, you know. You had Moses' time, you had Yeshua's time, but there's still one book. Mm -hmm. And whatever was deleted from uh, uh, the first part from Moses' laws and stuff like that, amen, then Yeshua spoke of it. A lot of laws were not repeated because, hey, it, it, they looked at it as one book. The, the people of Yeshua's time and beforehand, they looked at it as one book. Now, I heard some pastors uh, and a pastor going up there saying that, you know, you don't have to obey the Shabbat because they said that God rested from his work and our work is not the same as God. And they try to make an argument out of it. So you got some slick devils out there, amen, some slick demons, amen, amen. that will go up there and try to twist the word of God, amen. Mm -hmm. In fact, I'm going to go ahead on and use the King James Version of the Bible today also, amen. 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 And, I, and I thank God. So I want us to go, first of all, to uh, Exodus 20 and 8. Verse 8. Amen. Now, Name of today's subject is the people who rebel against the Sabbath, amen. Because see what's happening is that you're blaspheming the word of God. And blaspheming means that you, you you see the word, you know the word, amen, but you won't do it. You're rejecting God, amen. You're setting God in his face, amen. You blaspheme against him. You're calling him a liar. Mm -hmm. And and you can't we cannot go up there and call Yeshua a liar, amen. amen. So let us go to Exodus 20. And 8. And we must remember that, this, that the Ten Commandments were written by the hands of you, sure. Amen. By hand, by God's hand. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Everybody have it? Amen. Okay. First, let's look at Exodus 20 and 1. And let's see who said these, who spoke these things. It says, And God spake all these words, saying, Now we know that who spoke it? God, God spoke it. He sure yeah, spoke his word. Amen. God spoke these words. Adonai spoke these words. Abba Yahweh spoke these words. So, unless you were lacking understanding, I wouldn't go against what God spoke. Amen? So now we know that God spoke it. Now this is clarity. Let's get this clarified now. Who spoke these things? And God also tells us, amen, in other chapters, that these commandments are what perpetual. Forever. Amen. So that means from generation, perpetual means forever and ever, from generation to generation 
to generation. Not just not, it's just not for the Jews. He didn't say for just the Jews only. Amen. He said, God spake these words, and it's to all of us. Amen. 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 He says, what now? I am. Remember, I'm going to 8 now, 20 and 8. He said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Well, God is not talking to himself when he says remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. God is already holy. He already knows the days that he created. Amen. 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 God is not forgetful like us. Yeah. Amen. He's telling us what? To remember. Keep it in mind. Amen. To keep it upon our hearts. Keep it in our soul. To obey his word. He said, remember. And to keep it what? Holy. holy. Not what we call holy, but what he calls holy. Amen. 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 You see, people want to go up there and argue this word. You can argue it all that you want to. But you're not coming against me. I didn't write it. I didn't speak these words. God did. God spoke these words. Now, you think that you so knowledgeable? You think that you all of this and all of that, that you want to go against God's word? Then that's you. I have nothing to do with that. You know, God, you sure, Abba Yahweh, is quite capable of defending his word. You blast him against him, he'll do to you as he pleases. That's right. Amen. You know, your argument is not with me. Your argument is going to be with God because, see, these words that you speak, you got to go out there and explain every, everything that we say. We got to explain to God. Why did we say that? Why did we do that? All our actions are accountable to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So God's going to know, well, since you're so knowledgeable in the world, why are you deceiving the people? Where is your holiness? Where is your righteousness? Whose knowledge are you basing it on? It's not mine. Not from my perspective. But from your own perspective. You're leaning what? Towards your own understanding. Amen. He says, Six days shall thou labor and do all of that work. Well, who's he talking about? Thou labor. He said, so it's what? Six days food that we are. He's talking to us. Yeah. He's not talking to himself. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Because he obeyed the Sabbath. Yes, he, he rested on the sixth day. Amen. Yes. On the seventh day. He rested on the seventh day. He did all his work. He completed all his work in six days. He did this as an example to us. So that we will complete all our work in six days. Amen. Amen. Everything we're supposed to do, hey, six days, he said, so you got plenty of time. He said, I'm asking for the seventh day. You give it to me. In fact, I'm commanding you to give me the seventh day. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So we need to understand this. He says, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. He said, hey, the seventh day. He didn't say the first day. He didn't say the second, third, fourth, or fifth, or sixth day. He said the seventh day. And don't think we do get a calendar. I hope y'all can see this calendar. Most calendars, they start off on Sunday, and they go to Saturday. So what we do, you count the first day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The seventh day falls on what? A Saturday. Amen. And so therefore, we are what? To keep the seventh day. And he said to keep the seventh day as being what? Holy. Amen. Amen. Now, I know a lot of you want to get slick. Well, say, well, I don't count like that. I count it from Monday. Well, then you are the lineman. Amen. You count it from Monday if you want to. You can get, try to get slick if you want to. That's, that's your prerogative. Amen. Mm -hmm. But we're going to tell you what? The truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because see, your soul is important unto us. Amen. Amen. 
We're not after your money. Amen. We're not trying to be popular. Amen. We're not trying to make a name for ourselves. Amen. The only name I'm concerned about is the new name that Yeshua is going to give me. I'm concerned about Yeshua's name, God's name. Amen. But I, I'm talking about as far as me, somebody trying to lift me up. I, I, I'm not, hey, I'm not worthy to be lifted up. Amen. But I'm going to lift up Yeshua. Amen. And the only name I'm looking for is that new name that he promised me if I obey his word. Yes. If I obey his commandments and yes. statutes. That's what I'm looking forward to. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. He says, But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it, he said, Now on the seventh day, which is Saturday, amen, in it, Thou, who's he talking when he says thou? You, Six. us. Mm -hmm. He's not talking to himself. Say. He's talking to us. Mm -hmm. He said, you shall not. We shall not. Now, if you're saying God is talking to himself and he's not talking to us, that he's separating us, then there's something wrong with your thinking. Your thinking is flawed. Mm -hmm. Amen? You, you, have, you have fault in your thought process. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. See, see, but see these demons, and I call them demons. They mess you up. See, feel you a pride and can't be told nothing, won't hear nothing. Cause the demons, the devil, does not want us to have understanding of his word or of his truth. Of the word of God. Amen. They don't want us to understand God. Amen. 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 But they'll let you get full of yourself mm -hmm. so that you won't hear. Amen. For you won't comprehend. Amen. For that you will be what? A blind guy. Mm -hmm. Which is a blind guy leading others into the same trap of going to hell as you yourself are going because you can't see. That's right. For you think you have all the wisdom and the knowledge, which you don't. You're lacking. Not a Bible. See? You think you know the word, but you're misleading the word. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you. I don't care whoever's telling you you don't have to keep the, the seven-day Sabbath. They're lying to you. They are a demon. They are devil-possessed. Amen. 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 Because what? The, the devil is what? A deceiver. Satan is a deceiver. Anytime you want to go against the word of God, then you are working for who? Satan. Satan, Satan is your father. Mm -hmm. The adversary is your father. Mm -hmm. Amen. You are demonic. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. The only thing you can do is to repent to your sure home Satan. Then you got to repent to the people that you're lied to and get it right. Amen. And get it right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. It's the truth then, huh? Thank you, Lord. He says, But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Nobody that's on your property, nobody is supposed to be doing any servile work. Amen. None whatsoever. No work. All of it's supposed to be done. Children can't go out there and be playing football, baseball, basketball. Cannot be taking their own pleasures. Amen. Amen. Husband and wife are not supposed to have sexual relationship on the Shabbat. This day is given totally unto Yeshua Ham says, given to God, Adana. Because this is what he requested. This is what he asked of us. Amen. And you might say, well, where did he say we can't take our pleasure? I'm going to show you that too. Amen. It's in here in the Bible. It's in the Word. Amen. Amen. See. 
I don't, I'm not conjuring up my ideas. I'm not twisting the word. I'm going to tell you just like you sure says it. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to appear that I have all wisdom, that I oh so smart, oh that I am oh I'm so tough. Amen. I say these things not to hurt you, but say things to what to help you if you want to be helped. That's right. Amen. To help you. Amen. Because you're misleading people when you say. You don't have to keep the seven day Sabbath. See? And so, so I heard the question asked. Did you sure? Did Jesus tell his disciples to keep the seven day Sabbath? Yes, he did. Yes, he told his disciples to keep the seven day Sabbath. He said, Well, where is it? Well, it's right here. When it became a perpetual commandment. Amen. 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 That's right. Jesus came in the name of the Father, did he not? Amen. Huh? He came in the name of the Father. He did what? Everything the Father told him to do. Yes. The commandment was already given in what you want to call the Old Testament. And the disciples, those that were following, were already keeping the seven-day Sabbath. By call, they were Hebrews, they were Jews. And it was what? The law of the land. Amen. Those that, they, they had to obey the seven day Sabbath. Amen. Amen. So they already knew. Yes, yeah, so he told us, he said. So they were already keeping it. Amen. Amen. See, you want to get slick with the word. You think you know it all. But I'm going to tell you what God says. Amen. 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 See, that's why God told us not to argue this word. Amen. He didn't tell us to argue this word. He ain't supposed to do, I'm going to teach it to you, preach it. If you accept it, fine. If you don't, that's between you and you sure. Amen. If you want to make it to the kingdom of God, you need to go by what the word says, not by what the apostles say. Not by what your preacher, your pastor say. What yourself say. What yourself say. But by what the word of God says. Yes. That's the only way we're going to make it the kingdom of God. Is by what? Being obedient to the word of God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. He says, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. He made it holy. Mm -hmm. He made it holy. And if you don't keep it, you're trying to make it unholy. You say, I don't have to do that. Like God do. Yes, we do. Uh, I beg your difference. Amen. Yes, we do. Now, I told you where it says that we should not take any pleasure on uh, on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Let's go to Isaiah 58 and 13. And 13. If thou turn away thy foot from the Sabbath, from doing thy pleasure on my holy day, and call it the Sabbath, and call the Sabbath a delight, and the holy of the Lord honorable, and shall honor him, not doing thy own ways nor finding thy own pleasure, nor speaking thy own words. words. That's the word. Amen. Amen. See, we need to call what? The Sabbath day a delight before the Lord. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Come to me, 
before Yeshua with thanksgiving, happy to be in his rest. Amen. Amen. Happy to emulate our Lord and our Savior. Yes. Calling it a delight. I'm glad. Glory. To be celebrating the Sabbath. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you, like I said, this is all one book. See, you sure even kept the Sabbath in the what? What you call the New Testament? Like people like to say the New Testament? Jesus, he kept the Sabbath. Because the scriptures tell us, as for us, it's custom. Uh huh. Amen. So when it's custom, when it's your custom to do something, that means it's your habit. Amen. It's your way of doing things. That's right. It is the way. Of Yeshua. Yes. He honored the Sabbath. See, that's why he stayed in the grave on the Sabbath day. He didn't rise up on the Sabbath day. He rise up, he rose on what? The first day of the week. Now, your scriptures tells you that the first day of the week is a Sunday that he rose. So, if the Sunday is the first day, how can it be the seventh day Sabbath? Huh? Come on. How can it be? The seventh day Sabbath, if it's the first day. Okay. See, See let's get out of our prideful ways, our wicked ways. Mm -hmm. Those of us that say that we love you, sure, and I know there's a lot of first day keepers that truly love you, sure. There are a lot of doing everything. Almost right, except for keeping the seven days Sabbath. Amen. Why? Because you have been poisoned with papal doctrine, Mother Babylon's doctrine. Poison. By what? Catholicism, Mother Babylon, you've been poisoned by it. The popes started telling you you don't have to do this and don't have to do that. And they had you believing that they had a connection with God. Their God is the devil, the demon. Amen. Everything that you're sure that uh, uh, Abu Yahweh told us not to do, they did it. They make images, pray in the images, and you follow along with it. Uh -huh. You follow along with it. You got your little cross, you got a picture, of, you got a, 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 a shape of a, a, of a man on the cross saying that that's Jesus. Jesus is not on that cross. He's no longer on that torture stake. He's been off of it. Amen. Hallelujah. But... See, it's a money maker. Mm -hmm. See, that's like when the people, you know, were back there and they started a riot because, you know, uh, Paul went up there and preached against them and the idol makers and stuff like that. And they stopped, people stopped uh, making the idols and everybody got mad because they were losing business. They were losing money. It's the same thing going on now. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's big money in making crosses, images of Christ. It's big money in that. See, people sold out, what? For the money. But see, the thing is, we cannot go up here and preach and teach half-truths. Uh -uh. We got to speak what? All of God's words. Mm -hmm. We got to live by what? Every word that comes out of the mouth of Yeshua. Mm -hmm. Amen. Every word. He didn't say some of them. We got to eat what? The whole road. Amen. 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 I, I want to go to Isaiah 66 now. And 22. Isaiah 66 and 22. Amen. 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 He says, For as the new heavens and the new earth, which I will make, will remain before me. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. This not in Revelation and the New Testament, amen, 
uh, what's called the New Testament, speak of a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. Amen. There's not New Testament speak of a new heaven and a new earth. Amen. Well, here he's talking about new heaven and new earth here also. See, there's one book that is coming to what? Agreement. Uh -huh. It's all one book. Sometimes Yeshua repeats himself and sometimes he doesn't. Yeah. Everything was not necessary for him to repeat. Over and over. Amen. Over and over again. He did not have to go up there and tell the disciples to keep the seven day Sabbath. I'm trying to repeat myself again. It was not necessary. Because what? They're already doing it. Let's and keep I on am. going. Amen. Let's keep on going. Amen. He says, For, for as the new heaven and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me, says the Lord, so shall your seed and your name remain. Mm -hmm. So what your seed shall remain forever and ever. Amen. And teach it to me. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon, which well, that's the Riyadh Hakadash, amen, one new moon, to another. See, that's how the months work before, amen. So when you hear sometimes of the Indians speaking from new moon to new moon, that was a new month, amen. But see, the papa, the pope, changed that. He said that was not good enough for him. He wanted to add five more days to you. So it was originally only 360 days. Amen. That's all it was. It was a year. It wasn't no 365. Oh, they called it a leap year 366 days. Amen. It was only 360 days. And that was it. But all this changed. See, who set this up? And you sure set this up. And we can go what, to the book of Genesis 1 and see how it was already done. Amen. It's from new moon to new moon. That's how come when you hear us talking about the holy days, amen, they do not come in alignment with the uh, Gregorian calendar. Amen. Go by the Hebrew calendar, because the Hebrew calendar is set up on what? The 30 day increment from new moon to new moon. That's what we're supposed to be living. That's how come we tell you about from evening. To evening.